Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a kind of pastel glitter look using the Morphe 35i Ice Palette. It's Icy Fantasy. And this is what it looks like. And I've dug into this palette once. Um, I did an Easter look and it came out pretty good. I do have my eyebrows already done as you can see. My eyebrows are a hot mess and ignore the space buns because they're staying until quarantine's over. My eyebrows are so bad. You you guys probably can't tell from this far, but they are overgrown. They have no shape. The fronts are horrendous, and I'm, like, slowly losing my mind. So that's why I did them before. They would take way too long on camera to do, and they, they're taking me, like, 15 minutes. They used to take two, okay? This is not good. But I hope everyone is staying safe in quarantine. I just found out that our stay-at-home order in Colorado is going to be lifted on April 26th, this Sunday, which is my birthday, and I'm very excited. I know that there are still people that are going to get sick, and I think that social distancing and not going out unnecessarily is important, but being able to go to the store and not have to worry about them not having stuff or, you know, me not being able to get diapers because people are mass buying them will be a really nice feeling. For those of you who know me in real life versus just on YouTube, I have gotten some good news lately and things are starting to finally look up for me and for my family, which is really exciting because getting out of the Navy and moving to Colorado was kind of a really rough transition. You know, moved out, my husband left for training, started college, work. It was a lot. It was a lot on me. This shawarma plate is literally hitting my soul. I'm crying. My eyes are tearing up, it's so good. I love food. All right, I need to stop eating because if I don't stop eating, I'm gonna not do this video at all. I'm just gonna eat my whole plate. So I'm gonna start with this lavender color right here or lilac, whichever you prefer. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna blend it into my crease, but I'm gonna blend it all the way up to my brow bone. So we're gonna get started with that first. Now that we have our purple applied, I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut my crease using this thin little brush. This is what it looks like. And then I'm going to pack out the concealer onto my lid with this flat brush. And I'm going to do that off camera just because I'm not very good at it and I don't know how long it's going to take. But I will come back once it's done. Alright, so we have our crease cut. And I do feel like using the small little pencil tip brush and then going in with the flat brush was the easier way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and take this silver glitter color and pack that into my lid. Alrighty, so we have our glitter packed into our lid and I just use my finger because it's kind of hard to get them to stick sometimes. And then you're just going to take it and you're going to push it into your lid like so. Next we're going to be doing our eyeliner, our mascara, and I got to pick a set of lashes. I will be doing my eyeliner on camera. I use Tarte Man Eater. You can use whatever eyeliner works for you. It doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to flick that wing out and then we will be back. I do want to apply some color to my under lash line. So probably a little bit of pink, maybe some yellow. Um, but I don't want to do that until my foundation and concealer is on.
Alrighty, so these are the lashes I'm going to be using today. And they are actually magnetic lashes, but I don't care for magnetic lashes because I don't think they stay on too well. So I'm going to use glue on them. Um, they do have the little magnet strips. You could, I guess, peel them off. Yeah, they come off, but I just leave them on. They don't do anything. They don't make the lash not stay or anything. So let's get those applied and then we will be back. Alrighty, so we have lashes. And these lashes are a little hard to apply because they do have the magnetic strips in them. So you kind of have to not just push them against your lash line, but you have to kind of push them down, like downward as you do it, because the little magnetic things kind of stick up from your lashes. So we're going to move on to primer. Today I'm going to use the Professional. And I'm sure you guys have seen me use this before. I usually use the small tubes um, because the bigger tubes are a little pricey. And here in Colorado, everything dries out really quick. So it's kind of a waste of money to buy a big product or a big size of a product and it end up drying out. But I did get this in my BoxyCharm, so it saved me $36. So we're just going to smooth that in. And this is the Benefit Professional. I feel like it just gives a really, really nice glow. I do have dry skin, so for me it works well. If you have oily skin, I'm just going to be honest with you, this is most likely going to break you out. Um, this and their Pore Professional Hydrating Primer, they tend to really break people out who have more oily skin. But for me, it works as long as I take my makeup off at night and do not sleep in it like a heat. So we're going to grab our Tarte Found Sealer and a Wet Beauty Blender and we're going to get that put on our face. So now that our foundation is on, I'm going to take, hmm, I'm going to do this pink right here, and I'm just going to buff that out under my lower lash line. The blush palette of the day is going to be the Morphe 8W Warm Master Palette. And let's go in, hmm, we'll go in with the shade Sweet. We'll just do something a little bit lighter today. Um, the eyes are a bit dramatic, so I'm good. Some of that. And that's just a really pretty light pink shade. Look at the nose. And let's grab a highlight. So I want to do something different for today's highlight, and I'm going to go in with this uh, matchstick by Fenty Beauty, and it is called Unicorn. It matches my eyeshadow almost to a T. So I think it would be fun to add that little pop onto the So I'm just going to apply that kind of stiffly there. And then I will blend it out with my finger because it is kind of bright. So let's get that all blended out. I'm 
You just kind of like smudge it in. I dab it in. There we go, that looks better. But you can do whatever you want to do. Cute. So our last step is going to be lip gloss. I'm going to use this gloss bomb in the shade Diamond Milk by Fenty Beauty. And then you can spritz some setting spray if you want. I'm not going to today just because I'm not going anywhere important, so I don't want to waste my setting spray. But this is going to be our final look. And I hope you guys like it. If you could comment, let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe or like button. I'd really appreciate it. See you guys next time.